Helen is a young woman um, who is very fiery um, and uh, very strong-willed and she's um, the youngest in this family and uh, I think her feeling is that she's got to somehow make her mark on the family but she doesn't quite know how it is, how to do that. Helen, please. I think the relationship between sisters is always a really interesting one and uh, Helen and Vida are no exception. Um, so I think Vida is kind of the, in some ways, the sort of perfect child of the family because she's training to become a musician, which is what both of their parents, you know, really value. M music and, um, and uh, musicianship is something which for them is, seems to be almost at the, the pinnacle of achievement. Um, so it's quite hard for Helen because Vida is this kind of bohemian musician who's very intelligent and has a whole life and is living away from the family. Um, and so all of those kind of roles are already taken up by Vida. But despite all of that, they are they're sisters who love each other and they have lots of, um, lots of moments of kind of playfulness and, um, and closeness, which are really nice. And it's lovely that they play music together, the whole family. Um, even though that's kind of a, there's a there's a pressure there from uh, their mother, you know, to to be good musicians and to play well and to practice. I think it's a genuinely really nice thing that they all come together and find this communion through the music. I was really excited when I heard that Julia Stevenson was going to be in it because uh, I was actually uh, a really big fan of hers before um, before meeting her which actually made me a bit nervous. So I'd seen her doing a fantastic job of Happy Days, the Beckett play, um, at the Young Vic Theatre uh, about a year and a half before we started filming, maybe a year before we started filming. So when she stepped on set, I was so, so nervous because um, I thought she's fantastic and it was a real privilege to be able to work with her. She slipped. Someone's, just... someone's done this to him. What are you suggesting? I'm sorry, but it's obviously not Santa Claus, is it? With your brother. It's great to be able to reach a huge audience of people. Um, in, in things like Game of Thrones, but it's also really exciting to uh, come together in a kind of community to create a, 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 small, a smaller um, budget thing out of kind of love. That's really a, a lovely thing to be able to do as well. An audience would like to see this film because there is such a huge array of characters and stories, um, and, but ultimately at, at its heart, it's a love story. And, um, Everyone loves a love story. I think that it's, it's hard to avoid the charm of um, a story like this one um, with these two such kind of lovable, lovable characters um, at its heart. I think it'll be really exciting for people to see that love story played out within a, a wider family dynamic because that family dynamic is something that we could all relate to, you know, what we're, the different people that we are with all of the different people that we know and are related to and, um, and how our, uh, our life experiences and our identities are shaped by the people around us who we grow up with. Um, so yeah, I think, that, uh, so I think that it's got an appeal for everyone. It can be quite exciting to be part of a project, enter into it, give your creative input, which hopefully, you know, if, if it's a you know, good project and handled well, you you are able to give and then from then on is out of your hands and that's quite exciting for me um, as an actor because it's sort of like you go in you, you do this thing and then if it's a film or a t or you know a piece of tv you then a few months later have this little gift that arrives and everyone else has been working on on this thing as you know doing their different uh, parts in the creative process and then there's this finished product which might be completely different to what you thought it was going to be and for me, that's really exciting and can sometimes be one of the best stages of the creative process. Although it's horrible to watch yourself and I often can't get through watching anything that I've done because I go, oh, it makes me, my skin crawl. But it's really exciting to see this finished product that everyone has worked on and to see all of the different choices that have been made that you had no idea of and that you're completely unaware of, you know, while you were on set doing whatever you were doing.